Hello everyone, today I'm gonna do a uh, anime, manga, doll collecting, nerdy uh, room tour. This is my room here. And I'm gonna open the door and we can see my bed, my bookshelves. Um, I'm gonna do a quick overview of everything so this won't be going into detail. Oh yeah, I collect Monster High dolls, Rainbow High dolls, I have some anime figures, I have lots of manga, um, I play video games too, so I've just got a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm gonna run through it real quick, and we'll start behind my door. I do have some jewelry holders for my jewelry, but I don't usually wear jewelry, so all this is what's remained of my childhood. Like, most of it is just like really old Claire's jewelry. It's probably not that special. Like I got this. My mom got it when she went to Florida to visit my aunt when my cousin was born when I was in like second grade and she gave that to me as a gift. And like, I've kept it and like, look how dirty the stopper is. It's like yellow with age. But yeah, so that's my jewelry. And then up here I have an Avatar poster. The poster was like $5 from Five Below, but the frame was kind of annoyingly expensive. But it's totally okay. Like, I can swap it out if I ever want to. And the frame will always be there. But Avatar is great. I have this really fun Appa figure. Him's mouth open. Yum, yum, yum. Here's my, some Monster High in front of my... DS, 3DS, and PlayStation 1 games. Um, there's a picture of my cousins there. And then going down, I have more of my PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4 video games, and a random assortment of stuff. I have my laundry here in the way, and there's my backpack that I use if I ever go over anywhere overnight. Um, here's lots of anime movies and a uh, little bit more video games. Some books down here, and movies that I couldn't fit anywhere else. And of course the little creature has to be in the video. Hello little creature, so soft. Hello little wampa, so widow. And then over here is my cork board, which started as a place to put my homework and tack it up. And then I just started decorating it with pins and cool Pokemon cards and it has never regained any functional use except for being cute. Here's my TV. I do have my PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and Switch hooked up and I do play video games in here. I usually sit on the floor and play them. I sit like on a pillow. Do not, do not butt swipe. And I sit on a pillow and lean against the bed as like the back. Um, but yeah, I have some weird dolls over here, some fun figures, some crystals I got at a rock shop. This one actually glows in the dark, which is fun. Some dolls again, and another stack of video games back there. Um, my favorite book series is The Golden Compass, so I collect copies of it. So I have a bunch there, more dolls. More video games and books down here. There's my ocarina that I can't play anything on because I keep forgetting to practice. Lots of books, the controllers under there. This bottom shelf is for like supplies for like witchy stuff. So like crystals and a bag of dried flowers. Some manga and books hiding back there. And then up here are a lot of my dolls and collectible items. So here's a shelf of Monster High. I only have G3 Monster High, but I have one G1 and that's Honey Swamp and she's up a little bit more. Here's my amiibo collection, Animal Crossing amiibos. Um, there's my cat, Pooter. He was, he passed away. He was over 20 years old. But I love them, so I framed them here. More figures. These are like Figmas and whatever else. Nigel Thornberry, classic meme. 
And then there's more Monster High. There's Honey Swamp. You can kind of see some hiding in there. I don't know who my favorite Monster High character is, but there's even more up there. And then I also have this little shelf for plushies. I have some Pokemon Center ones and some of Animal Crossing characters. Um, some Build-A-Bears up there and just some other cute little fellows. And then on the floor, you might have noticed earlier, it's just sprinkled with shit. Binders with stories I write and books that I need to read. I was recently rereading The Hunger Games because um, A Ballad of Songbird and Snakes movie came out, so I was feeling nostalgic. Another pile of books. Um, a picture I got from an artist at a con that uh, I don't have a place to hang. I have this little bookshelf back here, which has a Squishmallow on the bottom and just some Junji Ito books on top. And then for the bookshelves, I have my bed as a day bed, so it has this siding on it, and it's like my crib. I'm joking, but so there's space to walk back here if I need to get anything. We'll start from the top this time. So up there are some fun stuffies. The saws book my friend actually made me. It's really cute. Lots of manga, some Pop Mart figures, more manga, even more manga, more manga, more manga, and then video game guides down there and some comics. Hi, are you listening? Are you like to tour? Are you learning a lot? Is so much knowledge going into your little peanut brain? Yeah, such a big brain for such a little man. Yeah. Everything just has to be about the creature, doesn't it? Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my goodness. Thank you for the kisses, little creature. And then up here are more it's gonna be hard to get a good view if I have to cram myself back here but there's more rainbow high dolls up there a pusheen more pusheen more manga some nendroids figures pokemon center plushies this is kind of like my doll shelf I would like more shelving to put my dolls on but my room is so cramped and we kind of have some hiding back here and then these are all my tarot decks i want to display them but there's just literally no room <laughs> down here i have like my card captor sakura shelf so i have all these card captor sakura q poskets and the manga and more manga more manga and plushies and the Warrior Cats books and some Ranma half random volumes. And then back up here where we left off at the Rainbow High. Lots of Pusheen up there. Some Pokemon box sets of the manga. These are my novels. This is my memoir shelf. This is like my favorites shelf. More copies of the Golden Compass. And some cute little figures. More books and dolls. Most of the books on these shelves I've read. And some more. And then this shelf down here is all my art books. So we've got the Ghibli art books, the Loish art books, and lots of other random ones. And then up here are some pop figures, the Steven Universe cast, some more Rainbow High, more manga figures, manga, loving some manga. That's actually the first thing I got into collecting and then everything else I've just kind of added on top and because I've been so into dolls lately I haven't really bought any new manga so I'm not up to date on anything. And then over here I have my Pokemon pins. I usually don't buy Pokemon cards unless they come with a pin or if I want like the, what are they called? The boxes with like the cool card sleeves or whatever. Booster boxes, I don't know. It's been a while. And then 
here's my closet. I just have some stuff hanging on the handles, but basically in here, it's just full of stuff. I've got more bags in there. I have all my boxes for my figures. I usually keep the boxes for the Nendroids and the fancier stuff, but sometimes if the box is just cute, I'll keep that too. Um, I have some binders of Pokemon cards, lots of chargers. Um, I have piles of manga in here that won't fit on my shelves. Um, the boxes under those figure boxes are all my old art and like binders of old schoolwork. And then over here, it's just a mess. Some more piles of manga, some shoes. Lots of Pokemon cards that didn't fit in my binders, more bags. And then up there are some plushies I couldn't fit. My Pikachu backpack, but yeah. Pretty nerdy, cringy stuff in there. We'll just keep that closed. So I have these old drawing illustration things of fairies. And it's actually pretty cool, the backs our postcards and my grandma would always get them for us so she would like write on us uh, write on them for us so yeah and then I have this cart of books that I need to read these are all books I haven't read yet um, and just some random stuff most of these I've started like you can see there's bookmarks in a few of them but I'm just really bad at like keeping up with it. And I don't have enough room for a dresser in here, so my dresser's in the laundry room, but I do keep some clothes in this basket here. Um, but yeah, that's everything. And then under my bed, I use it for storage for boxes full of like doll clothes and um, that Chewy box is full of Generation 3 My Little Ponies, I think. I have a bunch of those from when I was little. Um, yeah, so. That's pretty much my room. I can give uh, in-depth uh, videos of maybe all the my manga and all my dolls. I'd love to make top 10 videos. That would be super fun. So yeah, stick around for more nerdy content. I also draw, so maybe I'll do some art too. Actually, before we go, I forgot to do these two shelves here. I love these shelves for my dolls. They're a little bit crammed and I have to turn their feet sideways for them to fit, but I just love that they're standing. So we've got some monster hide there, some here. Uh, but yeah, that pretty much makes up my room. Uh, so yeah, and to hold back my curtains, I have these Beanie Babies. So yeah, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to make more videos, but I'm very unreliable, so keep that in mind. <laughs>